Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Anime Mac Reviews, and today I got Black Clover Chapter. I believe this is 297 out for you guys. I just kind of woke up a little bit earlier just to get the video out and get the spoilers out. I think these are all the panels, so it's not going to be like a long video, but it's pretty exciting to see. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the chapter pretty much picks off what we saw last week where Noelle is battling Vonica. And in this panel, I just got to give Noelle a round of applause. She is completely overpowering Vonica. Like it's not even a contest. And this really shows us how powerful just the Saint stage is in combination with just the spear dive and Noelle's new Valkyrie form. It is just insanely powerful. However, I do have my doubts about this fight. And I'm going to kind of get into that later in the video, but I'm not exactly sure if it, I would say if things are what they seem, you know, what we're seeing is actually what we're seeing, if that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, but kudos to Noel and this power up. I think this really gives hope for like just spear dive users in general, along with Lugoliana, and you know, that they could battle these powerful devil users and actually be able to keep up. And that actually helps with the power balancing because, you know, Asta can't be on call 24-7. And this is the panel that I really like because like Noelle is really giving Vonica this business because everything is personal. Vonica was responsible for in large part Acer's death along with Majicula. So Noelle really like hates this woman. Like she is stomping her head in the ground. Noelle is using her sword to just deflect different attacks. And then we got Vonica looking real nervous because this is probably like the first time. Besides the Acer fight, she definitely lost the Acer fight, most definitely. And if it wasn't for Majicula, she would have most likely died. So kudos to Acer. Like, Acer was known to be, at one point, the strongest captain in the Clover Kingdom. And guess when Julius was a captain? So our girl Acer is nothing to play with, period. The only reason why she lost was literally because of Majicula's curse magic. And here is this beautiful panel. Like, man, the art is just so amazing in Black Clover lately. Like... Yuki Tabata is really doing his thing. We see this wide panel spread with Noelle holding down Vonica with the sword at her neck. You know, Yuki Tabata being a little bit of a pervert there. We see that on the left hand side as well. <laughs> but besides that, Noelle is just holding the sword victorious. Let's give Noelle a round of applause. Now, a lot of people will say that Noelle didn't work hard for this, but let's be real. Noelle has been using this Valkyrie form for a very long time. Not the same stage, but without this power up, we really couldn't see Noelle kind of like progressing the normal way, or at least it would have took a very long time. People keep forgetting that they literally had six months to get stronger. Noelle already has it in her genes to just become automatically like super powerful. Just look at Acer. And right here, we see Noelle like... She's not even talking her trash, right? And then I saw an English translation for this panel, and I'm not sure is it fully correct, but Veronica, she's actually happy. She's like, now it's my turn. Now it's my turn to get stronger and fight you because that's what friendship is all about. And it's kind of weird because I really think that if this is true, Veronica's pretty serious about this. Like, definitely the Dark Triad has some screws loose. They really do. Now, here's my thing. Obviously... I'm not exactly too sure if Vonica's going to make it out of this and not for the reason that you guys may think because there's a, a couple of surprises along the horizon as you guys are really about to see. So maybe she is, maybe she won't. And that is when, man, a magic spell interrupts everything. We see, I believe this is Charlotte's Roses and they just get dispelled. And you're thinking that maybe Majigla's defeated, but no, that is definitely not the case. Something happened. Something really, really bad just happened. And so for our Clover Kingdom Magic Knights in this area, I really do believe they just need to get out like very quickly because something horrible had just happened. And a lot of people may think that a new devil appeared on the battlefield. You know, the second gate has opened. But the question is, who is this devil? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Majicula. And I know we're all kind of like surprised because I thought that Majicula would look kind of different, but... She really looks like a little girl with, of course, the four horns. So originally I thought this was just like another devil that wasn't Majigla, but we see like the four horns here. So obviously indicating a devil of very high rank and Majigla's got this weird looking dress on along with the wing and also not counting necessarily what we're going to see when 
the final chapter comes out, we get the translation. This is most likely Majigla just because of the fact that we see the devil tail that has the heart at the end of it. And this was a very noticeable factor when Vonica went to 100% devil mode along with the 70%. And we saw that same heart symbol at the end of the tail. We know that high ranking devils along with Oz's devil and along with most likely Lucifero has the symbol at the end of the tail indicating I guess, I don't know, not necessarily rank. I don't know what the symbols actually indicate. But apparently, yeah, Majigla's been planning something for a very long time. And you guys saw in that panel before. But she needed three high-ranking mages to die in order for this spell to really come about. And I guess what this spell is doing, this is just my guess, I believe that it's to get her to another rank, like another high rank in terms of not necessarily over Lucifer, but close to it. And here we see Loba Chica. That's like the biggest cliffhanger that we're really going to see. Loba Chica is pretty much being consumed by Majicula and looks to be controlled by it. Like she literally has a whole devil form. Most likely will be way more powerful than Vonica because already we know that Loba Chica just had that talent ingrained in her, but she never really used attack spells. And now that she has a devil form, along with the fact that she stated to be as powerful as Julius, at least that mana level, yeah, they need to really just get up out of there because I don't believe that they can fight this alone without Asta or Yuno. So my guess is they're going to do a uh, retreat ASAP. But anyway, guys, that does it for me today. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Also, comment down below and tell me if you guys enjoyed the video. Also, make sure to smash that like button. The like button does me so well in the algorithm. And I appreciate you guys taking the time out your night to watch my video. And without further ado, make sure you guys have a wonderful day and peace.